So it's just gone midday on May the 12th, which is Tuesday. And we're gonna try out some of the UK's independent Funko Pop retailers. We put four or five orders in, got my iPad. Let's see how it goes. Hi there everybody, welcome back to the channel Poptimist UK. Um, in today's video we're going to be checking out some of the UK's um, up and coming independent Funko Pop retailers. Now obviously at the moment here in the UK we're on lockdown, all the toy shops are closed so there's not a great deal of hunting to be had but nevertheless there are still one or two retail outlets that are well, well respected in the game at the moment that are selling Funko Pops and other collectibles to people across the country and, and worldwide in fact. And uh, so the plan with this particular video is to check a few of those out. So a number of the uh, retailers that are out there for Funko Pops are very visible on social media through Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, a few of them seem to be just cropping up. There's one or two more cropping up along the way. So as part of this video, we're going to be putting in a few orders with a few of those. Two that uh, have been on our radar for some time via Instagram. And we're throwing in one wild card um, that just came to light in the last, last few days. So for this video, we're going to be trying out Glass Shelf Collectibles, The Geek Garage, and popfigures.com so the plan with these purchases is to hopefully find a few things that, uh, that will fit the collection if not we'll try and find a few um, pops for benj to add into his collection so um very much started on may the 12th orders were placed with uh, three we did intend to put orders with with five different um retailers but unfortunately yeah we weren't able to spot a couple of things and um, one retailer is not online yet so we'll we'll revisit this in a couple of weeks time and hopefully pick something up from them and tell you guys all about it no competitions amongst amongst retailers. This is more about each individual and how much care and attention they put into their shipping practices and, and the general the general customer service really. Have to say, um Geek Garage in particular, um by the close of play on the Tuesday, I did receive a phone call from, from the boss there, Paul. Um, which is a rarity. I've never never experienced that before, but it was to advise me of the item that we'd ordered. Um, unfortunately, it was the last one they had in stock of that particular item. So he kindly said that the, the one they had left was a bit beat and um, he just wanted to let me know and advise me of that, which I have to say straight away, big tick in the box there in terms of customer service. Um, no shirking from the fact that it was a slightly damaged product. Very much appreciative of in-box and out-of-box collectors. And as it happened, I, I managed to switch that out instead for another item. Uh, and then I, I have got a cheeky little something else. So let's see uh, see what happens. Let's see. Uh, and then we'll, uh, we'll catch up with this video when things start to arrive. Okay, so welcome back. Um, we are into the afternoon of May the 14th. And we've re it looks like we've received the first of our uh, a few orders from UK independent retailers so let's get into it packaging wise first impression pretty decent a couple of airflows on top there and yeah it is popfigures.com airflow down the side now I do know the single air pillows can be a bit notorious sometimes in terms of squashing boxes but uh, when things are bubble wrapped well that tends not to be the case and it's in a pop protector um, I wasn't aware that was going to be the case I have to say but it's um, a popfigures.com pop protector, so I'm more than happy with that. Bit on the baggy side as pop, pop, pop protectors go, but superb. And um, the fact that it's so well packaged, air pack, air pillows, bubble wrap, and the pop protector that will keep that nice and minty. Now this one won't be for me because I do have Cool Obsidian hiding somewhere, although um, I've only got the uh, the exclusive sticker version, so I may swap this one out. But this one is going into Benjamin's collection, and you, which you'll be able to see in a forthcoming video. It has to be said, no issues from my point of view whatsoever. Um, Fourteen pounds ninety nine. First impressions of PopFigures.com. I have to say these were the wild card in this little uh, little experiment of trying out the UK retailers. Um, very impressed. Very very swift. Very impressed. Uh, it's a superb pop. Shan't be getting this one out of the box because, like I say, I'm, I may switch this one out with my other inbox pop. But um, one of the underrated pops from the uh, the Infinity War line. Um, it's huge. It's got great detail. Was it a significant character in the film? Hmm, possibly not in the grand scheme of things. But in terms of being involved in the big set pieces, Cull Obsidian was very much uh, part of all those. And um, super impressed. So that was the first one from our little UK experiment in terms of independent retailers. Popfigures.com, 
Okay, so we've got our next delivery from our, our little UK experiment with UK independent retailers. And the next one up was the guys at the Geek Garage. Uh, again, good box. Obviously, it's the standard sort of Funko, Funko blister pack that uh, the items come in. So let's have a look. As I mentioned uh, on the shipping notification, uh, the Geek Garage got in touch with me directly um, when they advised that the, uh, one of the items was uh, was damaged that they had in stock, so they'll just give me an option. So uh, from that point of view, um, good communication to start with. Packaging, as I expected, um, very good air pillows, plenty of bubble wrap, so let's see. So IG-11. Now obviously we were... Um, we're looking to get the Armourer from Mandalorian, but so IG-11 was my sort of sub-out option. Bubble wrapped, also in a pop protector again, un uh, unbelievable packaging again, um, absolutely mint condition, um, no issues whatsoever at all. And um, Geek Garage sticker on the front there, so see a lot of uh, the Geek Garage on Instagram, very, very active on social media, which is always a positive. It's, nice. it's actually nice to see the people involved behind these companies because I think that just gives you a little bit of an extra bond a bit of a better understanding of what they're doing and you know evidently collectors as well since so that's perfect he also did say because of the damaged box he was going to throw something in he's thrown in a bobblehead mystery mini uh Benjamin loves mystery mini so thank you very much for that uh Geek garage and um, very much appreciated and I did vow not to sort of try to get any new lines but when these released I actually couldn't really help myself and this is the new Funko sodas. Now the Funko sodas all are um, in the cans, all factory sealed, all in blind bags inside. So the beauty of these ones is, you know, if you do have a chase, you can't. There's no way of knowing. So the fir first thing I notice with these, the cans are really well made. Actually, they're not they're not fragile at all. Really sturdy cans. Just a pop cap top. And a blind bag. I'm not going to look at the. I'm not going to look at the cut the token. You're looking at this at first at the same time I am. Not only that, it's also it's also bubble wrapped inside, so exceptionally well packaged inside as well. And lion out from the Thundercats. Not the. Uh, I don't believe it's the uh, the chase version, but. Um, Really cool. Um, not a line I'm going to really hopefully get too involved in, but I did want want the Thundercats ones. Bit of nostalgia as a child, and that will go into my little collection there. But they are really really cool. Actually, I quite like them. They're um, they're quite smart. I do like them. So he'll be sitting alongside my uh, Lino Funko Pop. And the token, the little Pog people are calling them, underneath little Pog there. Lino one of six thousand three hundred. The others being chases, of course. So no chase on this occasion, but the uh, the key part of this experiment obviously is the UK retailers. Geek Garage have come through in flying colours. Perfect pop, inner pop protector, really well packaged. The uh, the, the pop soda was a little little bonus that I ordered um, just to try them out. Quite impressed with these, particularly with the packaging. And obviously, thank you very much, Paul. Very kind for you to throw that in. Um, another two thumbs up. So, so far we've had the pop figures and we've had Geek Garage. Both exceptional and both really impressed by. Okay, so it's Saturday the 16th of May and we've received our third and final um, delivery from this little UK experiment with independent retailers. And this one is Glass Shelf Collectibles. Now, when we when we, uh, when we we started this out, what we wanted to do was make sure that we just, just have a look, just try them basically and um, see what was out there in terms of UK retail. So again, small, small compact box, stick it up fragile. I've already clipped it open, so let's have a look. Wrapped in paper, so again a really, really decent start there. Also in a pop protector, it's a Batman. Now what I would say is this experiment was about sort of buying some relatively sort of affordable pieces, nothing too extravagantly priced. My view is as a collector that retailers should treat a common pop in exactly the same way as they would something a bit more um, higher value. And this is a really good example of this. All three now have shipped in pop protectors. Which I have to say, you know, fair play to all three of these companies, um, popfigures.com, um, Geek Garage and Glass Shelf Collectibles. Now this is Glass Shelf Collectibles, it's a Batman. This one, I uh, saw this on the website via social media. Red Chrome Batman, uh, Funko Shop exclusive. 
absolute mint condition. Can't fault fault it at all. Not a blemish on the box whatsoever. Collection I really like. That is Glass Shelf Collectibles. Very, very impressed, as I have been with, with all the UK retailers that we've tested so far. Um, so there you go. So to conclude this video, um, we do have some really good, capable, uh, independent retailers out there selling Funko Pops, which is a massive plus for any collectors. Um, I would always stress um, to anybody asking for my advice, always do the research. You know, As it turns out, there's, there's at least three very, very good um, retailers out there. We got um, Cool Obsidian from PopFigures.com. We'll put links to all these companies in the description below. As you can see, Benj has already had him out of the box, um, so he's very pleased with that one. We got the Red Crane Batman from Glass Shelf Collectibles, and then we got IG-11 from The Mandalorian, the Lino Pop Soda from Geek Garage, and um, due to a, a little bit of a technicality, they threw in a mystery mini as well, which again, um, Benj very happy with that as well. So thank you very much. So... In summary, do the research. You know, don't don't be sort of bullied into spending crazy amounts over the odds amounts for, for your Funko Pops. Do the research, have a look, and there's there's some great deals out there with trustworthy companies, with trust with companies that will reach out, which are very present on social media. And um, you know, don't take my word for it. Try them for yourselves. All the links will be in the description below. Um, there are a couple more companies that we are going to try out. Um, on this occasion, we weren't able to find anything that fit either of our collections at this moment, but we will be trying those out in due course. But um, three out of three, very impressed. Um, check us out in our next video. Thank you.